Hey everybody, Patrick here. Today uh, we're, we had some questions from some people in regards to loading an entire scene into Blender. And I'm going to go about showing you how to do it. Uh, we're going to continue developing the space scene and we're actually going to add in some spacey objects to it that we've created in 3.js. Uh, I will have a sped up video included with this that will show you how to actually uh, model all this stuff um, later. Uh, but for now, why don't we go ahead and take a look at what we're going to be creating. And that's going to be essentially this little space station right here and this moon. And we're going to put a little bit of a rotation on it, uh, as you can see. And we'll load that up into the scene in general. All right, so without further ado, why don't we hop over to Blender. And this is the actual scene, as you can see. And it has all of our objects in it. And... What we're going to do is we're not going to load up the lights, but however, we're going to load up all the other objects that are um, over here. As you can see, we have all these different objects. All right, so basically, we're going to come down to the exporter, and we're going to do the 3.js exporter on it. And the settings you're going to want to have for this are going to be, in this case, we're not doing the UVs. I'm just doing standard mapping on this. Uh, set the specular down to zero for the intensity that's going to switch it over to a Lambert shader um, and we're not going to load up the UVs we're just going to do normals vertices and faces as well as the entire scene and the materials okay so that's going to load up basically all the stuff we're going to we're going to need so just remember these settings okay and if you don't use the load the loader that I'm using you're going to get this length there um, and you'll see that so we'll just export this base scene into our models folder. Go ahead and export that. And then come back over here and I'll show you. So you'll see that loads. Oops. All right, so you'll notice that it's coming in like this. All right, the reason being is we actually have to modify the, um, the JSON file so that it does not do this. And I'll show you how you do that. All right, so we're gonna go back into our space scene and we're going to actually open up the JSON file. So you'll see we have the JSON file right over here, space scene. And if you scroll down to the bottom, it's going to have a materials list. All right, so you'll have all of your objects right here with the IDs, unique IDs on them. And then at the end, we're going to add in a little quote, okay? And that's going to be shading. And that's going to be set to flat shading. Okay, that's all you really need to do is add in this little bit and we'll add that to each of these. Because it defaults to smooth shading when you export. So you'll need to add this in, especially if you're working with any sort of, um, if you're working with any sort of uh, low poly models and you want to have that nice flat shading, you'll have to add that uh, directly into the JSON file. Okay, so once you have that done, you hit save and come back over here and when we hit refresh, everything will be flat, nice and flat. And that's kind of the appearance that we want to have for this. All right, so next after that, let's take a look at the code on how we're doing this. So we'll go over to our main.js file. All right, again, if you remember, we already went over all this other stuff, the sky, the clouds, all this other stuff. Uh, so what we need to do now is we need to actually load up the, uh, use the loader. And uh, the loader we're going to be using is the object loader this time. Okay, and that's built right in. You don't need uh, any external uh, libraries to load this. And that's going to actually load in your entire JSON file and just add that to the scene. And then after you've added that to the scene, um, what we'll, we'll do is we'll, we cr we'll create a little function down here called scene.rotate and it's just going to look for mesh objects and put a little bit of a rotation on it. Of course, you can change this up, you know, add in an if else or any sort of anything you want to uh, eliminate from that. You can change this rotation however you see fit. Okay, but the idea basically is to go through the scene and, and put everything on a little bit of a rotation. And again, that's the local uh, local rotation. Um, it's not doing a global rotation on your scene, so, and then we're just calling that, um, we're calling that up in our renderer right there. So, this is pretty simple, straightforward, but it brings your whole scene in. You shouldn't have too many problems doing it. Um, again, I'm not loading in the UVs. I didn't really do any UVs on this one. 
However, if you wanted to, you could break it down. You could break these files down. Um, like I've shown you in the past, you know, map out your UVs, bake on the textures, put the texture files in there, and it'll load everything up as well. All right, so that is pretty much it. It's pretty simple, straightforward. It'll get your scene loaded. Um, when you're done, you'll end up with a nice little scene like this. All right, uh, thanks again for tuning in, and I hope this is a helpful tutorial for you. And again, of course, I will put all the code uh, so you can look at everything uh, online. Thanks again for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.